Hi, I'm Stacy Burke from Stacy Burke Trading, and today we're going to be talking about keeping it simple. Stay tuned, I'll be right back. Hi, I'm Stacy Burke from Stacy Burke Trading, and today we're going to be talking about keeping it simple. You have to pardon me, I uh, just finished my workout and I got caught in a rainstorm here in normally sunny Perth. But uh, non-farm payrolls last night and some good trades. There was a few uh, few really messy charts. The euro was messy on, on the short term. Um, pound was not too bad. The Canadian offered a couple of opportunities. Um, euro yen, pound Aussie, a couple good trades. But just want to come back to talking about keeping it simple. Again, I talked about this yesterday in my video. People have been emailing me and um, messaging me, asking me for a bit more video and blogging information on actual strategies. And I'm going to just reiterate my three main strategies. My, I have end of day. I use the hourly system during London and US. But I look for the five minute charts to time those entries. I look between 2 and 5 a.m. Um, New York time to time my, my London Open trades. I mainly look at the pound crosses and the euro. Um, I do look at the Asian markets in the opening. I look at the pound Aussie. I look at the Aussie, the yen, the pound yen, and um, occasionally the euro and pound New Zealand cross rates. I look at my hourly charts. I look for the initial balance or opening range, which is the first two to three hours of the, each session, which we've talked about in my other videos. If you haven't seen those, go and look at my opening range breakout videos. I look for the market makers and for the market to establish a buying and selling range. I put a 20 period moving average on those charts, especially on the five minute charts. I very rarely will ever look to go against that 20 period moving average unless it's on a final flag. If you want more information on that type of trading, go and get Al Brooks's uh, reading price action charts bar by bar. Um, there's nothing secret about what I'm doing. Uh, I, I have a fairly consistent hit rate. My challenge right now is I'm trying to get my trades up to size. My maximum risk is usually 1R. Uh, so if I'm trading off the hourly charts on a, and I'm timing that on a five minute chart, I look for the tops of the hours to time those trades. and my maximum risk is usually one, uh, one of the hourly bars. If I'm on end of day, it's very rarely ever more than um, one day's average range. Um, and I look again, I time those trades off the previous week's structure, uh, depending if the market's breaking out or if it's been consolidating. So again, uh, support and resistance. Use your weekly charts. Uh, draw your lines, horizontal lines. I'm not huge on vertical trend line breaks. I look for, for micro trend line breaks and retests in strong trends. I, I will not counter trend to trade until that micro trend line is broken. So, you know, keep it really, really simple. Put empty charts up there. Start drawing support and resistance lines. Um, look to a larger time frame for your major levels of support and resistance, but keep it really, really simple. If you're wrong and, and your trade is invalidated, get out with the smallest loss possible. Do not hold on, I've done that. I've, I've destroyed accounts, I've had great consistency and then ma um, destroyed an account on one or two trades. And I've done that a few times. And that's, that's a painful emotional experience to go through. And that's where your psychological capital is destroyed. That's what will hold you back, is doing damage to yourself where you're breaking your rules. Get a track record in place. Start journaling, keeping track of your trades. Set daily goals, whether it's 10 pips a day or 10 pips a session, you know, uh, or, or, you know, uh, 20 pips a week or 100 pips a week or, you know, $500 a month or something that you've got a target to track against. Work towards these small goals. Be disciplined. Manage the downside. Focus on managing your downside. If you take care of that, you'll be in the game. You'll stay in the game your winners will take care of themselves. So keep it simple traders. Keep it really, really simple because simplicity can be reproduced week in and week out. If it's complicated, 
uh, you get analysis paralysis. You'll get a, you'll cripple yourself with hope, fear, greed, and then ultimately pain. So keep it really, really simple. Manage the downside. Follow your trades. Keep it simple. Keep your losses small and ride your winners. Hopefully you got some value out of today's video, traders. Keep it simple, and may the markets go with you. Hi, traders. It's Stacy Burke from Stacy Burke Trading. If you haven't done so, please head over to my website at stacyburktrading.com. I create updates on almost a daily basis, and I would love for you to receive them. Just click on the blog. If you want to enter your name and your email address, I'll send you my free audio program, The 7-Step Daily Routine for High Performance Traders. This is essential knowledge for all traders in all markets, and this is for helping traders to master the market with discipline, confidence, and a winning mindset. I appreciate all your feedback and comments. As always, traders, stay disciplined, and may the markets go with you.